One small town New England family living out their adventures one day at a time, sharing for the whole world to see. This is Build A Lot Acres. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Welcome back, friends. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the one tractor attachment everyone who owns a tractor needs to own. And that is going to be a carry-all box. But not only a carry-all box, I'm going to take it a step further and say that you need to make one that can be a dump box as well. So a lot of people you're going to see have them on their three-point hitch to carry items and transport things, which is great. But having the ability to dump it on a set of forks gives you the ability to reach much higher to do higher chores and also gives you ability to dump things out of it like brush, firewood, mulch, etc. Now I personally have two boxes that I use quite a bit. I have a six foot, five dump, six foot wide dumping box and I also have an eight foot wide more of a transport box to stand on work platform that you see here. So I know some of you may be thinking I can just stack firewood or whatever in my bucket and it's going to hold almost as much. While that may be true depending on your tractor model, the wood or whatever you stack is going to be much more likely to fall and it's not going to be a flat surface that you can work out of like the other box is going to be. So let's take a look at some of my boxes in action. Here's my dumping box. This is back when it was five feet before I widened it. And as you can see here, I'm dumping out, there's quite a bit of firewood. This box holds about a third of a cord or 42 square feet firewood you can see me splitting in the splitter here it takes quite a while to fill this up in comparison my coyote bucket which is six feet wide is about 13 cubic feet which is about a half of a yard i mean this thing really holds a lot of wood you can see there's a couple of broken spots there that i ended up fixing and when i widened it out here it is in slow-mo like i said this thing holds a lot of wood and aside from being able to dump, like I say, the ability to be able to stand on it and work on things like cutting branches, you know, maybe a siding, a building or roofing or changing a light bulb or stringing up Christmas lights or power washing your house. I mean, there's so many things that you can do standing in the box. It's so much safer than a ladder. It really is nice. You could add safety chains. You could add a harness. I mean, there's really no end to the uses for these kind of boxes. But like I said, I would definitely make one that you could put on your three-point hitch or forks because a lot of people have forks for their tractors. Here it is after I widened it. I went from five feet to six feet. I also fixed the back. But there is one important thing you need to keep in mind with these kind of dump boxes. You need a way to keep it from sliding off your forks, which we're going to see here in the next slide. I simply use eye hooks with a safety chain on each side that prevents it from sliding off keeps it safe now depending on the size of your tractor obviously you can make the box according to that size mine happens to be fairly big my tractor is also a bigger tractor i know a lot of people are going to have smaller subcompacts you can make the box any size you want you can make it four feet wide five feet wide you know Whatever size works for you. I would say if it's going to be mainly to have you work out of it, the size isn't really going to matter because you're not going to have it full of a lot of weight. So there's extra room to move around, hold tools and things, and a workbench or whatever might be handy. So that's why I have two. I wouldn't use the big eight-foot box to dump things. It's more to work out of, which I've used it for numerous projects, everything from siding to roofing to power washing. I mean, it really has come in handy over the years. But the smaller box here, I would say my number one use, obviously, as you can tell from the video, is probably transporting firewood. It holds about three times what my six-foot-wide bucket will hold. So it saves me a lot of time, saves me trips. It's more efficient. I got better use out of my day. And yeah, I think everyone needs to own one of these boxes. It's very easy to build yourself. I made mine out of recycled deck boards, so it didn't cost me anything. Here you can see Clara in it with the power washer. 
this is our power washing video so i have a power washer chained up in the middle so it can't fall i mean can you imagine her trying to do this while standing in the bottom of the six foot bucket it'd be hardly any room be very unsafe be much more likely to tip forward this box is really safe it's a comfortable work platform to do things off of so if you don't already have a carry-all box something like this i would highly highly recommend getting one or making one here you can see a bigger version. This is actually one that goes on all-terrain forklift. This forklift lifts up over 30 feet in the air. Now, we had four of these all-terrain forklifts when we were in business. And I used to work out of these things, like, for days. Like, eight-hour days in a row, multiple days in a row. Here I am going up and cutting a branch so that we can pull this tree over safely. This box, I think, is nine feet wide and five or six feet deep, so it's really big. You could fit a lot of tools and stuff in here. You could actually have a little workstation with sawhorses. And, you know, if you were trimming out a house or doing some stuff like that. But like I said, we had four of these forklifts. And I think we had a box for every one of them. And it was probably one of the most used items that we had on the construction site. You save so much time over this versus setting up scaffolding or pump jacks. You know, it's much easier. It's safer. I feel more comfortable so you can see here he's picking me up so in this particular forklift you actually have the main arms and then you also have the carriage itself goes up which you're going to see here starting now so there's you know a lot of the newer forklifts also telescope forward and backwards so you can also push closer to a house which two of ours did do but this particular uh, model forklift does not do and like i said earlier here's the four of them we had uh, two of them telescope forward and two of them did not but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video on carry all boxes and why you should own one see you in the next one